breaking, we were bringing you the division of sorts in terms of the kinds of responses that are coming in from INDI alliance partners of the DMK. It seems that that division also exists within just the Congress itself. Earlier, we pointed out leaders like Kamal Nath and T.S. Singh Deo, whose statements have come in over the last hours itself, have both said that they disagree with what it is that Udhyanidhi Stalin had to say, but they've also said it's his personal belief. On the other hand, you have leaders like Karthi Chitambaram, who we brought you earlier, and now what we're going to play out for you, which is Karnataka Minister Priyank Kharge, the son, remember, of Malika Arjun Kharge. He said that no religion promotes equality. His statement seems to be seemingly in support of Udhyanidhi Stalin. Take a look. Any, any religion that does not promote equality, any religion that does not ensure that you have, you, you have the dignity of, the, of being a human being is not a religion according to me. Any religion which does not have, give you equal rights, does not treat you like humans, is not a religion. So it's as good as a disease. All right, my colleague Purnima Murli with us once again. She joined us just a few minutes ago. We'll go back to her for this story too. Uh, Purnima, Priyank Kharge's statement leaves no room for ambiguity. He is, he is coming down quite strongly in his statement. He is saying very firmly that he does agree with parts of what it is that Udhyanidhi Stalin has had to say. He's essentially said, look, no religion allows for equality. Purnima, the fact that Priyank Kharge is a key minister in Karnataka, he's also the son, of course, of Malika Arjun Kharge, the Congress president. How should we read into this response? Well, uh, can you repeat that question, please? Yes, I was saying, uh, Purnima, looking at the position that Priyank Kharge occupies both in the Karnataka cabinet, also, of course, that he is the son of Malika Arjun Kharge, so a, a prominent voice in the South, how should we look at this answer? Well, uh, there's not been a single stance that's taken by the Congress. Uh, Congress, if you look at it, uh, many senior leaders uh, uh, are in fact not uh, uh, speaking about it. But if you look at Tamil Nadu, if you look at southern states, yes, there have been voices. Uh, uh, there have been different voices that are coming in from the Congress. One, of course, as I said, in Tamil Nadu, Karthi Chudambaram has come out in support of Udayanadi and said that his statement has been uh, misconstrued and it's taken out of context when he actually did not mean uh, when he did not mean anything about uh, genocide of people who are following Sanatana Dharma. There's also a strong reaction that's come in from Karnataka Congress. But if you look at uh, uh, many national parties, like for example, the Shiv Sena, uh, they uh, in fact are not giving any uh, proper response to uh, Udayanadi Stalin's statement saying that they've not seen the video so they won't be able to comment. So this of course is going to be a challenge for uh, for the opposition unity because uh, the statement made by DMK has certainly not gone down well with uh, a certain political circles in the run-up to 2024 and therefore many of them are still cautious and that's going to be one of the challenges uh, that the DMK will face. So far no gag order issued uh, by the DMK to refrain from making statements on Sanatana Dharma but of course in the next 24-48 hours there will be more clarity considering that uh, the timing of this uh, statement comes exactly after the recently held opposition meet in Mumbai. Right. Uh, but uh, many views coming in from different Congress leaders, uh, there's no single uh, stance that the Congress has taken uh, nationally. So we'll have to wait and see how uh, how many other parties will now respond to the Nidhi Stalin's okay. statement that he made on Saturday uh, on Sanatana Dharma saying that uh, there's no 